Every time Microsoft delivers a new OS, it's possible to get many of the features of a Windows upgrade in the previous version of Windows. Windows 7 is no exception. Here's a roundup of a few things you can do to make Windows Vista as Windows 7-like as possible without shelling out any money for the new OS. We'll start out with a couple of tweaks, then tell you about four free apps you can download, and a tip of the hat to the amazing Gina Trapani at Lifehacker, from whom I picked up several of these tricks. First, the taskbar. Windows 7 lets you pin apps to the taskbar, and we can approximate that in Vista. Here's how. Right-click on your taskbar and select Toolbars, then choose Quick Launch. Now drag the icons you wish to pin into the left side of the taskbar. Right-click on the taskbar again and uncheck Lock Taskbar. Now click on the three rows of dots, hold that down with the mouse, and drag the bar over until you see all your icons. Now they look a little small like that, so let's make them bigger. Make sure the taskbar is still unlocked. Now right-click on the taskbar again, select the View menu, and choose Large Icons. And that's okay, but if you want a real Mac-like dock like they have in Windows 7, Forget all that and install Rocket Dock. It gives you a whole new Mac-ish dock that you can put down at the bottom of the window instead of the taskbar. But your window still looks all Vista-y. One more interface tweak before we move on. Go to download.com and get Vista Glass 1.3. That's with two Zs. It's a utility that changes some system files to allow you to implement third-party themes on Vista. Launch Vista Glass and, if you're sure, agree to allow it to modify your system files. I did it and had no issues, but I make no warranty. Now you need a Windows 7 theme to implement. Go to DeviantArt.com and search for Windows 7 style for Vista. It should be by Gianni SGX89. Download it, uncompress it, and then inside the Windows 7 style folder, Go into the Theme folder and find the file called Windows 7 and the folder called Windows 7. Copy both of those to Windows slash Resources slash Themes. And you're going to need admin access to copy these. Now, right-click pretty much anywhere on your desktop and select Personalize. Click on Theme. And supposedly, you're able to select the Windows 7 theme from the drop-down list. That didn't work for me, so I had to browse to Windows slash Resources slash Themes and choose the Windows 7 theme manually. Once you've got it, press Apply and you have a Windows 7 look. You can also go to DeviantArt for wallpaper, login screens, and other Windows 7-ish customization options. Four free apps now and we're done. In Windows 7, Arrow Shake kicks in when you shake an active window minimizing all the other windows. You can download a Vista version from Lifehacker for free. Next, you'll want the nifty Win 7 feature that halves the size of a window and docks it to the side of the screen. There's an app for that. It's German, and it's called AeroSnap. You can get it at aerosnap.de.vu. The Windows 7 calculator is also a lovely souped-up little thing with a lot of extra features. Some intrepid hacker has actually pulled it out of Windows 7 and made it available on Box.net. You'll have to do a search to find it, and there's no guaranteeing it'll still be there when you do. And there's no guaranteeing it's legal, but it is cool. Just make sure you back up your Vista calculator if you decide to replace it with something like this, just in case things go sideways on you. Finally, Windows 7 has a much easier way to select Wi-Fi networks. It's not a perfect match, but you can get NetSetMan at NetSetMan.com as a much better way to look at Wi-Fi networks than the default Vista Manager. And it gives you a bunch of other powerful tools as well. Now, there are plenty of other tweaks, like turning off user account control, tricks to speed up startup. They're covered in Ms. Trapani's Lifehacker article, as well as in a few of our Windows videos at CNETV.com. Hope that helps you squeeze a bit more life out of Windows Vista. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com.